what's going on guys welcome back to the channel last friday i had the opportunity to go fishing off of a jet ski and just like my boy promised it was the best day of fishing i'd ever had as you guys will see here shortly i caught over 20 fish and got to cruise around biscayne bay and check out some of the sites so yeah big shout out to fishing wax for taking me out and putting me on a ton of fish and a new species Not a bad fish. Yeah. Oh, that's mutton. Mutton snapper. Oh, I should probably get my camera. Fighting nice on that tiny rod. Oh my god! Holy! That's the biggest! Wow! Wow, bro! Supermarket quality. You gotta measure that. Man. On that little rod, too. Yeah, you got Yeah, I got it, I got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Like that. Yeah, oh, Another one. This one's not that big, but still. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're here. 
family showed up. How do you know? I, I watched the line. Uh, I watched the, I, the line. Is, the line will tell the story. 13. <laughs> 15. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this guy because he is the record breaker. We were out there for about six hours, and a lot happened during that time. I'll let you guys watch most of it, title. but I did want to point out a few things that I didn't get good footage of. It was kind of hard to film out there because it gets very wet, and uh, you know it's kind of risky to take this camera out there, but I did it anyway. I actually almost fell in the water with it, and that would have been a big mistake, but luckily, everything turned out all right, and I didn't fall in the water with it. Just in case. Yeah, you can use this one. either like a piece of trash or look a shark oh wow there's more more, there's more. these are the ones that stick to your yeah. back right yeah. first time catching this fish oh, yeah. right. how, how do i how do i get it without hurting myself that's really cool you so you can hold them I thought that it had like, um, so how do they stick to you? We both ended up hooking shark, but we were fishing for snappers, so there was no chance we were landing those fish. As usual, my setups will be detailed in the description. Also, we did see a few sharks as well, pretty big ones. I scoured my GoPro for the footage because I know I must have gotten a shot, but I couldn't find anything. I'm gonna look again because honestly, they were huge. And also, a ballyhoo flew into the boat, uh, but I did catch that on the GoPro. And that was right after I caught my 15th fish, which was a record breaker. Kind of an unreal series of events. And we also saw a stingray and a ton of other fish. It really is a game changer being on the water and I know I need to find a way to do it on my own, but all that is in the works. Six hours puts me at 308 hours of fishing total and I ended up going back out the next day off of land, but I did put in some more hours and actually had another great day of fishing. So make sure to stay tuned for that. As usual guys, don't make me turn this car around and I'll see you next time.